Yo, what's up guys, um, Scraps here. Today I'm going to show you guys a T6 speed farm build I have. This is basically the skills. It's pretty basic, it's uh, fire bells, but the difference is I changed to Caesar initiative for a higher attack speed. And I don't use swooping winds, I said I use faith in the light, blinding flash for the extra 30% buff. Also in this video I'll show you why I prefer using a helmet besides the TZO Crins simply because this removes the epiphany teleport whenever you cast spells so yeah let me go ahead and just do the run real quick and show you guys Ready yet. So you can see that run took a little under two minutes and it's simply because whenever you cast Epiphany and you don't have the Wave of Light Helm it makes it, it gives you a teleport. When you use the Wave of Light Helm, watch I'll show you guys right now. Let's go to the upper section and I'll show you guys. I will not do that. Whenever you use this helmet, it makes you a ranged character and it removes that epiphany teleport which removes a ton of mobility. Alright, so epiphany's up. See, I'm clicking on the enemies but I'm not teleporting to them so I have to dash and waste my dashing strikes, you know? And look, it's not really the damage is not really centered so you're not teleporting to them, you're not like debuffing them with your bane of the traps or anything like that. And look, look at the small section I cleared with my, without uh, having Epiphany up. I mean, with having Epiphany up. Simply because this is a range build. Watch, I'll wait for my Epiphany to go back up and I'll try to speed run it without talking. See, you can see my epiphanies up and I cleared literally a quarter section of the map. But once I put this helmet back on, you'll see how much faster I clear. Because wave of light, uh, explosive light, doesn't matter if it's ranged or not because if you see, it shoots in a straight line anyways, look. So it's going to clear the screen as you go, so let's put the epiphany back on. See, I cleared this whole section just by having Epiphany up because I teleport to the targets and I blew up pretty much everything I ran by. Watch this again. And I can save my dashing strikes for when there's no enemies since uh, I don't have to use it in between and since the Epiphany is teleporting me everywhere. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys my gear again and my skill specs. Alright, so basically it's explosive light, dashing strike, air ally for whenever you are not a spirit and you're out of epiphany. Faith in the light, I just use it whenever, but if uh, you don't have too high of a cooldown, you can use, um, you can just use it when you fight elite so you can nuke them down quicker. 
Annihilation for the movement speed buff, insight for more spirit obviously, so since you're always going to be moving, your passives are going to be momentum, because every if you're using the spec, every time you move 25 yards, you're going to get 20% more damages for 6 seconds, and as you can see, you're always teleporting across the map, so you're always, you'll always have this buff up. Beacon of Vitar for faster cooldowns, seize the initiative so that I can attack quicker, reducing my animation time, and I'm always moving to a new enemy so I'm always fighting an enemy that has over 75% life and harmony just because I mean I'm a little glassy not really glassy but I prefer not to die so I just have harmony you can always replace this with like fleet footed if you want to move faster or like if you want more damage you can always use like unity or determination as far as my items go it's typical 3 piece and wuko I rode a wave of light on this so I get 50% more damage versus only I mean this gives you 30% damage but it's only a 15% loss it's not that big of a deal the mobility makes up for it using a flavor of time because it rode uh, as a 5 statted item it has 8% cooldown if you have a good Sunwuko amulet you can always use the Leorx crown instead and just use the Sunwuko's amulet then you got Reaper wraps Cinder Code obviously Crudus boots two piece crimson for, for faster cooldown and instead of using a torch I use a furnace because an elite modifier is stronger than a 30% uh, wave of light modifier and then we have with ring of grandor SOJ with crit chance so I mean I do a little lesser damage because I have a perfect SOJ but 5.5 crit chance is too good to give up and that's basically it you guys can see my stats there again here's my skills I hope you guys enjoy the dose.